this video we're going to cover geo maps in Google Sheets. So you can see here we have a data set of African countries and their population size and we'd like to use this data and insert it on a geo map that reflects different levels of population by different color shadings. So the easiest way to go about this is to first select your data set then go up to the insert ribbon select chart now Google Sheets will automatically populate a suggested chart this is obviously not the one we want so what also pops up on the insert is the chart editor window to the right now under this first setup ribbon we can select from this chart type Dropbox a geo chart which you will need to scroll down all the way to the very bottom and near the bottom you'll see a section labeled map and the first option there is geo chart so we'll click on that and by default Google Sheets will reflect a world map now we want something that's a little bigger that just mainly reflects the continent of Africa so what we can do is go over to the customized ribbon in the chart editor window select geo and under region we can change the default world value to Africa now that looks a little better so you can see here we have a legend at the very bottom with the least populated countries having a red shade and the highest populated countries with green shade if we wanted to change the colors on this geo chart we can go back into our chart editor window we have values or um, should I say color options for min uh, the mid-range values and the max values so maybe we want to change our color scale to j just different shades of blue so for our minimum color I want to use a light blue the mid-range will use a medium shade of blue and then the max value will use the darkest shade of blue so you can see as you hover over any country it will show the population size numerically also um, one thing you might not notice is if you as you hover over a country you can see a black arrow down on the legend in the bottom left that shows where that country falls within the spectrum of your highest to lowest color spectrum so that's something that goes unnoticed sometimes so just keep that in mind um, one other thing I'd like to point out is if we wanted to change the background of our chart to make it pop a little better we could um, select a color maybe gray so that looks a little better so that was just a brief introduction to geo maps in Google Sheets hey if you like what you saw today please subscribe to the Excel cave thanks for watching